We did. We came here looking for a leopard or hoping for a leopard, but look, we have managed to find a big elephant. So this elephant is now enjoying some water and as he's spraying it around. So if you're wondering why your screen is black and white, it's because we've put an infrared camera on and we actually cannot see pretty much anything with our naked eye, but the camera is able to pick up everything, which allows us to see these animals during the night. Isn't that amazing? Whoop, there's a little bit of splashing around from this elephant. Now, when we see elephants, if they are by themselves, then that is more likely than not a boy, because the boys like to be by themselves, especially as they get older. And then the females, they... hey, don't you spray any of that water this side, mister. It's too cold for me. See, always playing this elephant. <laughs> and if we see lots of elephants all together, then normally that's the family of the females and their daughters and little ones and so on. Now it seems like we have managed to find ourselves a cheeky elephant that wants to make us wet and sometimes they do that. Sometimes they'll be a little bit playful and try their luck and see what happens but I'm not really keen to go down there and play with an elephant and get wet. <laughs> Temperature is still a little bit cold for my liking. Hello beautiful eye. And they come and they drink every day and normally in one go or in one day they can drink up to a hundred liters of water. That is a lot. And that's just one elephant. Whoop, there we go. Puts the trunk in its mouth. Although I think you're playing more than what you're actually drinking because often if they're very thirsty you'll see that they'll put their trunk in their mouth and then they raise their heads a little bit just to make sure that everything goes down their throat and carry on drinking. I think this boy, maybe he's been a little bit hot today and he's been playing around more than anything else now. You see there's poof, a lot of water. Could also be that he's not too happy with the taste of the water. Nate, you're wondering if a hippo would try to attack an elephant. Well, they can. Some hippos get very drunky, uh, drunky, very sorry, very grumpy when there's um, when the water level is not too high. So when it gets very dry and it hasn't rained for a while and the water pools are becoming shallower and shallower, the hippos get angry and they don't really like any other animals coming and sharing their water. So sometimes you can see elephants and hippos and rhinos just chasing each other around a water hole. Now, every now and again they will fight and they can kill each other because they, they become very aggressive. But often they will just leave each other or just do a little bit of a display as in like, you know, I'm the toughest, biggest animal in this water hole and then the other one will be like, oh fine, and goes away. But it can happen. However, I think a very big elephant would probably win against a hippo. Lainey, you're wondering how long does an elephant live? Well, in this area we're lucky because we get them uh, for a very long time. They normally live until they're about 60, 65 years of age on average. Whereas in other areas, like the desert, because the conditions are much harsher uh, over there, they live for about maybe 40 to 45 years of age. But in this particular area, about 60, 65 years old. It's normally a good number for elephants. And I think this one that we're looking at, he, I would say he's probably around 20 years old or so, so he's still got quite a long time ahead of it, which is wonderful. We love seeing elephants all around this area. You can see his trunk is definitely wet. Even their skin is absorbing a little bit, and boop, the trunk goes all the way down. Khalid, you're wondering how the elephants drink water. Well, let's have a look at what this guy is doing. Okay, now he's playing with the water, of course. So they use their trunk and they suck up all the water through their trunk and they've got a little um, muscle that prevents the water from going up all the way from the trunk all the way into the, the lungs so that they don't choke. So they whoop, pretty much, it's almost like drinking through a straw, I would say. They suck up the water through their trunk and then once they've filled up their trunk, then they put their trunk in their mouth and they tilt their head back and they just let all the liquid back uh, out from their trunk into their mouth and that's how they drink. It's quite a long process and it takes them a little while, there we go, you see it's putting its trunk there. It takes them a while to learn how to do this because it's not that easy to learn how to move that trunk because if you can imagine it's just a whole new thing that's there and sometimes in the little ones it's quite funny because they don't know how to use it yet. So when they come down to a water hole 
rather than drinking like this one is doing you will see that they'll go almost like a dog on their knees and then their mouth straight into the water to drink directly from the water hole because they haven't learned how to do it yet <laughs> it is very funny when they do that you are making yourself very wet elephants normally love the water and if it's they manage to find a water hole that's very deep always you will see them in there playing and tussing and turning and going inside it's wonderful they really do like the water now that sound is a goose an Egyptian goose that's calling from the other side not too sure why it's upset might try to have a look with the let's have a look with the torch see if there's anything here no nope don't think there's anything. I think these two are just making that noise because they're upset with the elephant and they don't want the elephant to be drinking their water. <laughs> they're very greedy. They want all this pun for themselves. I think Aurelie's almost done drinking. Look at that tail. The only place where an elephant has hair is the tip of the tail, as you can see there. And the other hair that they've got is in their ears to protect their ears from dust and little things coming in. And then, of course, very beautiful long eyelashes. Seems like our elephant friend is done for the night over here. So let's go over to Tristan and find out if the hippos have also gotten outside of the water.